Sister Wives, Mary Brown's business empire is in jeopardy. Is it villain Cubby Brown's fault? Sister Wives star Mary Brown recently made a decision that could threaten her entire business empire, but was her polygamous ex-husband, Cubby Brown, behind it? Cody married Mary in 1990 and was his first wife. Mary grew up in a polygamous family and wanted a big family of her own. Sadly, biology didn't go her way and Mary only had one child. Her struggle with fertility was one reason she and Cody opened up their marriage to additional wives. It wasn't long before Cody married Janelle Brown, then Christine Brown. Eventually, in 2010, Cody married his fourth wife, Robin Brown. Between Cody and his four wives, the Sister Wives clan included 18 children. So Mary got the giant family she always wanted. The good times didn't last forever and three of Cody's four wives divorced him throughout the last few years. Christine left Cody in 2021, followed by Janelle Brown in 2022. Though Mary tried to hold on, she ended up following Christine and Janelle out the door in 2022. Since then, Mary has focused on growing her business empire but recently suffered a setback. During Sister Wives season 12, Mary revealed that she wanted to buy her grandmother's 150-year-old home and turn it into a bed and breakfast. She needed some help making it happen financially, but Cody refused, claiming he couldn't afford to give Mary the $40,000 she needed to make Mary's bed and breakfast dream come true. Though Mary was disappointed, she didn't let Cody's lack of support stop her from making her dream come true. In August, Mary posted an Instagram carousel of photos taken throughout the beautiful historical home. The Sister Wives season 18 star explained that the house needed renovations and that she would be shutting it down for regular visits for an indefinite amount of time. Though Mary doesn't specify how long the business will be closed or what kind of renovations the house needs, hopefully, the charming bed and breakfast won't be closed for too long. Apparently, though the inn is closed to overnight guests, it's still available for events. Just a few days after posting about closing Lizzie's Heritage Inn for renovations, Mary posted about her Halloween event taking place at the old house. The 150-year-old structure is the perfect location for a spooky Halloween haunted house event. The inn isn't Mary's only business venture. The Sister Wives season 19 star has always had an entrepreneurial spirit. During her plural marriage, Mary, Cody, and his other wives were involved in various business ventures over the years at varying levels of success. Among many ventures, the Browns had an online clothing store, a jewelry business, and a 2012 New York Times bestseller called Becoming Sister Wives. The Story of Unconventional Marriage According to Mary's official website, she has been busily growing her empire since walking away from her unhappy marriage to Cody. A scroll down the page finds Mary's business portfolio. From motivational speaking engagements to product lines, every project is a reflection of Mary's belief in the power of self-worth. Reads the website copy, followed by a list of her business ventures. In addition to the B&B, &B, Mary works with Park Lane, Lularo, and Cameo. Most recently, the Sister Wives star announced her Worthy Up venture, which is a life coaching service. Cody and Robin Brown too broke for Flagstaff Mansion. Our Sister Wives stars Cody and Robin Brown too broke for their Flagstaff, Arizona mansion. More so is that the reason why they are selling their home for a lot more than they initially paid for it. They are not building on Coyote Pass and there are no other wives left so is the couple in the poorhouse. Keep reading for the details. Recently, Cody and Robin Brown listed their beloved Flagstaff mansion for $1.6 million after paying nearly $900,000 for it in 2019. This is a big deal as the house meant so much to them and was a respite for Cody during the pandemic. It started out as a rental which was the route Cody's other wives, Janelle Brown and Mary Brown went. Christine Brown Woolley was the only wife who purchased from the moment they moved from Vegas to Flagstaff. Robin loved her home but did not want to commit to buying it as they had bought a large piece of land, Coyo Pass. The goal was to build homes for each wife as well as Cody on CP, but Robin and Cody had to act quickly thus they put in an offer on their home. When the pandemic hit in 2020, Cody felt Janelle and Christine, along with their children, were not obeying his rules. Therefore, he was mainly at Robin's lavish mansion. He also preferred it over the RV that Janelle had purchased. 
Now he's down three wives and left with just Robin and the couple has decided to sell their mansion. Allegedly, they cannot afford it anymore, according to The Sun. An insider shared this information about the couple. Cody and Robin listed their home because it's become a huge expense that they no longer can afford, especially now with the family torn apart. They added details about Coyo Pass which appears to be going nowhere either. When Christine left the family in 2021, she sold her lot for $10 to the family but Cody and Roby Brown own the majority. They haven't done any work on Coyo Pass because of how much it will cost to build and of course, stop their plans altogether once the wives left. The Sister Wives family owes back taxes on Coyo Pass, but Janelle Brown is seemingly ready to sell. Though her name is still on the deed for the land, in the season 19 preview, she talks about being bought out. This could be why Cody and Robin Brown are selling their home. Janelle and Mary Brown long helped with the familial income, as did Christine Brown Woolley. Now, they are not around to do so and may want what is rightfully theirs. Furthermore, Janelle's biggest reason for wanting to build on Coyo Pass was so she could have something to leave her children. That has not happened. Sister Wives Update Money is still owed on Coyo Pass for years. Cody Brown has been trying to get his large polygamous family on board with the idea of one shared home. However, it became painfully apparent that none of Cody's four wives wanted to live under one roof. So the Sister Wives star came up with what he thought could be a compromise. Cody, along with Mary Brown, Janelle Brown, Christine Brown, and Robin Brown, all agreed to buy land in Arizona to build their dream homes on. However, the project turned into a complete nightmare and left them in debt. In 2021, Cody and his four wives purchased parcels on Coyo Pass. Before the demise of the family unit, the family had planned to settle in their own houses. However, as late as 2022, Christine still lived in the house she owned while Mary and Janelle rented. Robin and Cody had also bought a home in town. The homes were not close together, and the spread-out location had the wives realizing they liked being apart. So it became apparent that multiple spouses were stalling on committing to the big move. At the time, Janelle, who eventually lived on the land in an RV, seemed like the only one willing to still build her forever home. Together, the Browns spent $820,000 on the land. However, ownership of the land wasn't split evenly among the family members. There are two smaller parcels and two larger parcels. Cody is the part owner of all four properties. Fans were surprised to learn that the land had been split into five plots so Cody could build his own home. Naturally, the wives weren't thrilled with this idea. As of 2024, Christine has sold her parcel back to Cody for $10. The short and sweet answer is no. The 14-acre property has remained untouched since the day the Browns bought it. In an episode, Cody explained that the size of each plot didn't matter because the acreage was appraised the same. In June 2023, The Sun reported that Janelle had been able to pay off her parcel of land. Janelle and Cody paid off the land in their name and an additional plot in Robin's name. The debt on the land was $170,000 each. As of 2023, no permits have been issued for building on the land. In season 18, Mary revealed that nothing had been built because they still owed money on the property. The mother of one revealed, Honestly, the property is the furthest thing from my mind. There's a lot of family stuff that needs to be worked out. During season 18, Cody noted that his second wife had pestered him about it. In the same season, Robin and Mary also fought about the equal division of land. The Lizzie's Heritage Inn owner felt she had been cheated stating that her husband had already made the decision about the land agreement. Mary went on to reveal that she didn't think it was fair that everyone was given four acres while she was only given two. In June 2023, In Touch reported that Cody and Robin owed $4,858.73 in late property taxes for the land. The legal documents listed Cody as the owner. And as of November 2023, Robin was listed as the owner of three parcels. In August 2024, Sister Wives viewers learned that Cody and Robin had put their Flagstaff home up for sale. The couple are asking $1,650,000 for their stunning five-bedroom, four-bathroom home offers unparalleled privacy and breathtaking views. The Zillow listing claims it offers a luxurious, spa-like and sweet bathroom complete with a large dual head shower and built-in shelving in the walk-in closet. 
While it is unclear if Cody and Robin will relocate to Coyote Pass, most viewers feel they will leave Flagstaff altogether. The trailer for season 19 has shown Robin and Cody struggling with their marriage. Cody is currently only legally married to his fourth wife, but he has alienated most of the family thanks to his bride. With the house up for sale, it wouldn't surprise me if they used some of the money to pay off Coyote Pass and move on from the train wreck that was Arizona.